Good morning, Mrs. Jane, and good morning, fellow researchers. My name is Mary Claire Lewisi Patnon from Grade 8 Ontario, and here is my study in life science entitled Polyphenol Content of Tawa Tawa as an Alternative Treatment for Asthma. One of the conditions that makes people suffer is asthma. Asthma is a common chronic disease that affects the lungs of both children and adults. It is a lung disease that makes it hard for the patient to breathe that often occurs when the lining of your airway swells and the muscle around them tighten. Symptoms of asthma include lightness of chest, shortness of breath, coughing or wheezing. Exposure to pollution, humidity, cold temperatures, dust mites, weather changes, and other environmental factors trigger the condition. It is also believed that genetics may be one of the reasons for getting asthma. For now, there is no cure found for this condition, but there are treatments that can be used to ease the symptoms somehow. The researcher has a suggestion in using tawa-tawa as an alternative treatment for asthma. Tawa-tawa, scientific name ni Propehirta, is a pantropical weed and is native to many Asian countries and to the tropical region of America. This herb is known in traditional medicines for treating asthma due to its anti-inflammatory properties, which is ideal for soothing irritation and respiratory passages. It contains flavonoids, triterpenes, phytosterols, tannins, and polyphenol. It is said that polyphenol is responsible for reducing inflammation and may also found in tawa-tawa leaves. This study focuses on how the polyphenol content of tawa-tawa leaves can be used as an alternative treatment against asthma. The researcher thought of doing the study for the people including the researcher to gain knowledge about the study and the potential of the variable. It can also help patients who lack proper treatment to treat their asthma. The research objectives are 1. To know if the polyphenol content of tawa-tawa can be used as an alternative treatment for asthma. 2. To know what chemical component can be found in tawa-tawa that can be used as an alternative treatment for asthma. 3. To know if the polyphenol content from the tawa-tawa is effective in treating asthma. For the statement of the problem, the main objective of the study is to make an alternative treatment for asthma using tawa-tawa leaves extract. This study will answer the following questions. 1. Is the polyphenol content of tawa-tawa leaves extract possible to use as an alternative treatment for asthma? 2. What are the chemical components found in tawa-tawa leaves extract that can be used as an alternative treatment for asthma? 3. Is the polyphenol content of tawa-tawa leaves extract effective as an alternative treatment for asthma? These are the hypotheses made. For question number one, it is not possible to use the polyphenol content of tawa-tawa leaves extract as an alternative treatment for asthma. It is possible to use the polyphenol content of tawa-tawa leaves extract as an alternative treatment for asthma. For question number two, there is no com chemical component found in tawa-tawa leaves extract that can be used as an alternative treatment for asthma. There are chemical components found in tawa-tawa leaves extract that can be used as an alternative treatment for asthma. For question number three, the polyphenol content of tawa-tawa leaves extract is not effective as an alternative treatment for asthma. The polyphenol content of tawa-tawa leaves extract is effective as an alternative treatment for asthma. The following are the significance of the study. To the needy, since the treatments are expensive, they can just make this at their home. To the community, they can now have easy access to treatments for their loved ones. To the medical field, they can now handle asthma patients and can also use the tawa-tawa for other illnesses. To the school, they can teach students the use of tawa-tawa and can also use it for students that have asthma. To the researcher, this study will help the researcher to know and add knowledge about tawa-tawa. To the future researchers, 
This study can be used as a reference for the own study. Scope and Limitations The objective of the study is to prove that tawa, tawa leaves can be a main ingredient for tea as an alternative treatment for asthma. The researcher will collect all the needed materials at Pasong Kawayan 2, General Tria City, Cavite. The study will be conducted at the researcher's house at South Square Village, Pasong Kawayan 2, General Tria City, Cavite. The study will be held from the third week of April up to the fourth week of June, 2022. Here are the review of related literatures and studies. Here's the review of related legal bases. Here is the review of related local bases and the review of related foreign bases. And now, onto the methodology. Here is the IPO conceptual framework and the Gantt chart. To be able to evaluate the effectivity of the Tawa-Tawa as a potential alternative treatment for asthma, the researcher will perform the proposed methodology involving three different phases, which are the collection of materials needed, the process of decoction method and making of the said product, and the trials and setups including different ingredients to be, add for, to be added for comparison. Safety precautions are observed during the making of the said output. Gathering of materials To begin, the researcher will gather the needed materials to be used such as tawa, tawa leaves, which is the main variable, containers, strainer, mortar and pestle, and the different additives to be used for the trials. Decoction process of tawa, tawa leaves and making of the product. For the first step, the researcher will prepare 500 grams of tawa, tawa leaves from the streets and home garden. Wash the leaves truly. After that, Put the leaves to the 1,000 grams of boiling water by the process of decoction method. After 20 minutes, soak the leaves, let it cool, and then put it in a jar. Finally, add honey as a sweetener, stir it well, and refrigerate for a week. Trials and Setups For the trials, the researcher will prepare tawa-tawa leaves and the honey as the additive for each setup. In this trial, the amount of the independent variable will be the amount of tawa-tawa leaves while the amount of the additive is controlled. The researcher will prepare measuring tools to ensure the accuracy of every measurement. For the first trial, the researcher will put 12 grams of tawa-tawa leaves worth of decoction into the honey. For the trial 2, the researcher will now put 15 grams of tawa-tawa leaves into the 1 fourth cup of honey. In the last trial, the researcher will put 30 grams of tawa, tawa leaves. The ingredients added that serve as a solvent in the dilution process is due to its high concentration. Lastly, here are the references. 